Okay guys, today we are back on top of the big machine shed. We are going to be pulling this half of the tin off. All right, so you got your holy pants on today. Yep. Are you ready for this, Dad? I'm not. We'll get a chunk of it done today, so it'll be nice. Hey, don't drop that ladder, Justin. Somebody said one day, does Daddy Cornstar got hearing aids? No, it's just I shove stuff in my ears. You know they make stuff like this, right? Yeah, but I lose them. If we could just put a little patch over stuff like that on our big machine shed, we'd be all right. So we got to go from that sheet all the way to the other. People driving by from the ground, it don't look like this side is damaged, but it is. When you get up here, you see tears all along. And then we got slices in it where when the bin roof went off and came over, it actually sliced the tenon spot. We got a decent little start. We got a few sheets on. We're gonna have a little slowdown to fix this hole and we have a couple purlins underneath that we're gonna have to replace. But it's lunchtime. What would you call this dish, mom? Uh, breakfast casserole. The boys and, well, let's see. Cooper, Cole, Justin, his son. They all ran home. They're gonna eat with Mama Cornstar. I have a grave to go cover, so we figured to keep the ball moving today, I was gonna go cover the grave while they're eating dinner. I should be back fairly soon. I just hate to leave the grave unattended very long. It looks pretty bare out here. This cemetery is a little country cemetery. It had a lot of trees out here. They're all gone. All them trees came from this cemetery. Well, let's get some up here and get things covered up. sure how hot it is out today I know they were talking close to 88 to 90 degrees there is no air moving and it's humid out so to me it feels all of that we'll get this done and then we'll go back up help the boys on the roof some more Let's go down and seed the grave before we forget and then we'll come back, put the chain binders on, and then we'll be done. Get this raked in a little bit. <sighs> we had a pretty quick lunch. Back what? up we go. It's starting to get warm. How many Mountain Dews have you had today? Uh, five minus four plus one. Two. Don't miss the nail, Austin. Oh. Don't pull an Austin. Right now, the sun has a ton of power. The tin is so hot that I cannot sit on here with jeans because it's burning me. So when the roof got destroyed during the derecho, some purlins got lifted through this foam insulation and it broke this piece out. So I'm gonna try to taper back into place. On the other side of this sheet of tin, I have a 25 foot drop. So we're gonna try not to fall. So the reason why we have foam insulation on this building is because we put grain in the big machine shed and during the winter time when we get freezing going on on the tin and then it starts to warm up the tin will actually sweat and drip so we have this foam board insulation in place to prevent that from happening because if our corn gets wet we could have quality issues and that could ultimately result in rotten corn which means we could either a get rejected or at least have some sort of a dock. I'll admit this isn't the most comfortable place I've ever laid. Ah, 
We're calling it a night. We're calling it a night up here, but then we got some other stuff we're gonna work on. By the time we get down here, it'll be dark. They're talking high chances of rain tomorrow and then several chances of rain later on this week. I really wanna get my yard seeded tonight so that way it can get some nice rain on it. But Cooper wants to get some hay loaded quick. So we're gonna help him load a couple bales real fast and then we're gonna try to get the yard taken care of and hopefully the sun stays up long enough for us to do that. I think it's finally time to seed the yard. I'm gonna grab my chair tripod, then we're gonna hop in the four-wheel drive tractor, reel disc the yard, get this super mellow and smooth. Dad is bringing over the spreader that goes in the back of the four-wheeler, and he's also bringing a roller that you pull behind the four-wheeler. Cause once the seed is on the ground, then we're gonna roll it, so that way it kind of pushes it into the soil. I do still have a little spot down there that I need to finish shaping with the skid loader. But the other 95% of the yard will be ready to be seeded, so I'm just gonna take care of that first. If I have to wait on doing that little area down there, there, that's okay I just want to have the bulk of the yard seeded especially this low spot because the sooner the grass comes out of this the better because if we get massive rains all that water comes washing down this low spot and then it could wash it out and I don't want that Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm not really satisfied with the final grade that I got on this. I would have liked to put more time into it, but I'm running out of time because harvest is quickly approaching and I have a lot of other things that I have to do other than just prepare my lawn. I'd call this 95% to my satisfaction. So what we're gonna do is seed it. We're gonna let everything grow through nice, get all luscious and thick. And then we're really gonna be able to identify any low spots or high spots we may have after that. I can always come back in later and fix those. But for now, this is gonna have to do. So this is the seed that we're gonna be planting. This is a Kentucky bluegrass. This particular blend is called Blue Heat. It's from GCI Turf Services. This stuff is supposed to look awesome once it's fully grown. The guy that I got this seed from actually has a lawn care YouTube channel. I'll include it up here somewhere. And then he does sell his own line of grass seed. So if you want to pick up some grass seed, I'll include the link to that in the description. This is what his yard looks like. So if mine looks half as good, I'm going to be happy. I think I hear dad coming on the four wheeler. So this is the power seeder that we're gonna use. I just toss the seed inside of there. Then I have a switch I can turn on back there. And then this little spinner will spin on an electric motor. We're gonna start by putting on the seed lightly because I rather be able to come back and put more on than not have enough. And then we're gonna be using this drag to kind of push it into the ground. This isn't the one we planned on using. We do have a plastic one that you fill with water and it would make it smooth, but we can't find the drain plug for it. So it's pretty much just an empty plastic barrel. And that thing is bumpy taking it down the gravel road. We're making sure to get all the old seed out of there because we don't want to accidentally plant something that we're not trying to plant. He's got some three pounds per thousand, so that would be five bags. We got her loaded and I guess we're gonna try seeding. Cooper just called his girlfriend's dad. He's a professional guesser when it comes to seeding yards. So he's gonna give us his professional guess. And that way, if it's wrong, we can blame him. How's it working? Did you run it coming down? Yeah, I ran it coming down, but I'm not sure really much is coming out. We might need to open our gate just a little bit more. That looks like it's coming out. Oh yeah, that, that is actually just perfect. Look at that. We'll get up here just a little bit, but that looks really, really, really good. We're trying to get it done tonight because they're talking a little chance of rain tonight. And then for a few other days, kind of some nice rain may be coming. So we just like to get the grass seed growing. If you look really close, you can see the seeds. Then we'll probably find out it's a bag full of thistles. Well, it keep people from walking through his yard. Last night I didn't get done seeding the yard till just after 10 o'clock. I actually had to bring two tractors in the Case 340 out here in the driveway pointing at the yard with the lights on so I could see. I planted the yard at one and a half pounds per thousand square feet going east and west and then I planted it again at one and a half pounds per thousand square feet going north and south. 
so I should have really good coverage on the yard. Once I got it planted, then I took that roller packer thing and then I did a diagonal pass. By the way, that took a while because that thing's only like three feet wide and I had almost two acres to roll. But no complaints on my end because we got that done. Then I was able to hop in the bobcat and I was able to back drag the bucket over the entire thing. We got it really smooth. Check this out. There she be. I'm really happy with how the front ditch turned out. I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see much of the seeding process, the rolling process, or the back dragging process, but I was really trying to get this on last night because it was supposed to rain and it did. We got four tenths of rain, which is perfect because now all the seed is established. It's not gonna move anywhere. If the wind blows and stuff, it's gonna hold down. So now it should be growing and here in a couple weeks, it's gonna be popping its little green head out and it's gonna look beautiful. And the best part is it rained. This is the low spot of the yard and we hardly have any washing at all. And also we're not really gonna bother with like this edge eight feet right here because we're going to bring the driveway over this way a little bit. When you look down the driveway going towards the road, it actually bows out about eight feet and then it kind of comes back in. But I did get this area planted so that way the grass can be growing through and then we'll have a really strong edge when it comes to the grass. Because it seems like if you don't do it that way, it is really difficult to get a strong thick grass next to rock because you just have little rocks out there and it gets driven on and it's kind of wispy so we just planted extra and then we're going to be covering it with a rock where the grass is really nice all right guys i suppose this makes a pretty good spot to end the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember if you enjoy our content and you want to help support the channel the best thing you can do is hit the thumbs up 